we have a gyro on here, and it's really cool. We don't use it that much, but it's still cool to have on there. So pretty much you have to score balls in certain goal zones using your robot. I love figuring out how to solve something. Well, have a great day. Good luck. You're all going to do great. You're all winners, no matter how your robots do. And uh, the Army stands strong with you, and it's going to be a super day. There you go. For match Wait, 21 of the U.S. Army competition, 92-23 to report to the field. You know, just to see something that you think up in your head and actually building it in real life, and then seeing it compete and actually move, that, that's pretty awesome. You get to decide what some different techniques. This is the 2014 VEX Robotics Competition presented by the U.S. Army. Three, two, one, go! It's the largest middle school and high school robotics program in the world. And this is a regional robotics competition where we have 54 teams from schools around the San Antonio area, actually throughout Texas, uh, competing to see which teams will move on to the South Texas Regional Championship for a chance to go to the World Championship. The uh, U.S. Army partnership is this is based around the U.S. Army All-American Bowl. And what they're also promoting here is all of the STEM, the science, technology, engineering, and math um, fields that are so important to the Army. What do you think the biggest strength of your robot is? I drive to work every day excited to build things. I've been doing this for 35 years. How do we get these kids to leverage the passion for robotics or technology or engineering to continue to be able to step up to any discipline to continue to help our country be where we need to be? Okay, I'm definitely impressed in the Army's investment in us because I think they're really trying to better America. I think the U.S. Army's involvement is great. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a tool to help these kids learn about what it is to be an engineer, whether they decide to do private sector or, you know, service in the Army. We just are appreciative of the fact that um, someday they could go on to do great things for our Army or for America.